I am Rakia Abifar, and today I am going to talk about how sign language is a revolutionary idea. There are numerous amounts of sign languages that have been developed around the world. Depending on several different cultures, the sign language can differ or be similar, like the French and the American Sign Language, ASL. Before sign language was developed, it was very hard for hearing impaired people to communicate between one another and to other hearing individuals. The History of Sign Language In 1620, Juan Pablo de Bonet published the first book on the teaching of sign language to deaf people, which included a manual alphabet. Then, in 1755, a man named Abbé de Lepi founded the first public school in Paris for deaf children. Laurent Clerc, who was a famous graduate from the first deaf school, founded the American School for the Deaf in Connecticut in 1817, along with Thomas Hopkins Gallouet. Laurent Clerc and Thomas Gallouet worked together to establish the American Sign Language, ASL, as Gallouet learned sign language and Laurent learned English. Gallouet's son, Edward Minor Gallouet, was the founder of the National Deaf Mute College, which is now called Gallouet University in Washington, D.C. ASL, known as American Sign Language, has a combination of hand movements, gestures, and facial expressions, instead of using sounds as a form of communication. ASL has its own grammar and sentence order, as well as punctuation rules. Over the years, ASL has become common use of communication with and between deaf people. It has become part of ev everyday life and more and more people outside of the deaf community have been exposed to ASL. For instance, sign language is now very common on television programs. On several channels, the signer is found on the bottom corner of the screen which is broadcasted in small or in full size. Sign language is also available in churches, synagogues, and mosques. Sign language has become an important aspect of everyday life. Many schools and universities are teaching sign language and in particular ASL. Universities such as Gallaudet offer degrees to deaf, hard to hear, and hearing students through many forms of visual learning using the ASL method. Other countries have adapted ASL to suit their cultures and languages and establish their own sign system to communicate. Knowing any new language, including sign language, opens you up to a whole new cultural experience and can help you communicate with other individuals. Today, Gallaudet University is seen by many as the Center for Excellence on visual learning and communication, a wealth of knowledge on deaf history and culture, and the birthplace of ASL. It has also contributed to be a better understanding on the deaf way of being and living.